Bangkok, Thailand's capital city, is selected for the project site. The most obviously seen is the skyline of high-rise buildings. However, on the street's level, the most common view is rows of shop houses. One of the main reasons made these shop houses common is because of their capacity for different functions. They can be used for residential and commercial purposes. Its roof normally has two types, flat and tilted roof. The flat is the most popular as it allows the building expansion and use for drying cloth and planting. We utilize rooftop for living instead of leaving it empty or being used for chores. Rooftop may serve as a residential area for young people in the city. Normally, the elders will stay in lower stories because of their physical condition. Most of the houses in Hungary doesn't have any rooftop. So, this rooftop house can be set on a commercial and apartment building. Rooftop houses can be available for rent to employees at a cheap rate. Target Groups Considering the rationale of the rooftop house and a small sustainable unit, it meets the demand of people in Generation Z. People in Generation Z prefer to live in big cities, where jobs are easier to find. These individuals tend to live separately from their parent. As a result, the space requirement for their living is smaller compared to other generations. The house was designed as an adaptive house under the keyword of bridging two worlds as one house for two locations to be adaptable to fit with different climates of Bangkok, Thailand and Zentandra, Hungary. According to Rooftop Windy and Sunny Attribute, the design idea was created as dancing with the wind and moving with the sun. The house existing structure was created as light, wind waivers also wind resistance, and strong. Its roof with the solar cell was designed to be adjustable to catch the sunlight. The house also designed to be modularity which following by 120 by 120 grids to be adaptable to users lifestyles and sight. Each module is assigned with a specific function as the base. The house can handle different surroundings by shifting and rotating those modules. With the concept of modular, clients now have more options to choose from. They can either buy one module as an extension of the existing building or the whole living unit. The living unit comprises of bedroom, living space, toilet, kitchen, and service room. It results in the self-contained building which can stand on its own. The goal is to commercialize the idea, there will be various types to respond to different kind of users. The design idea of the house regards to how the bird builds its habitat as respective with the locations and extendable, and also local materials utilization of Thai local rubber wood used to make the smartest nest as the resilient nest. Thai local rubber wood was picked as the main material under a consideration of Thailand's rubber price issue to help the planters, while its attribute also appropriates with a consideration of light, wind resistance, strong, sustainability, and fast growing. To solve the problem of its size, moisture, flexibility, and termite by using thermal treat and glulin. The team is considering sustainability, the leftovers of the wood from making house will be recycled to compositing, create furniture, and others. The housing facility was designed to be clean and sustained by using solar cells to create electricity. And electricity designed as smart grids, the house is able to keep and reserve electricity, and selling of electricity to save the cost. Water collective system also recyclable to be used again in the garden under the idea of circularity under the concept of dancing in the garden. A smart house system of automatic electricity system also allows the user to control the electric applicants by their smartphones, while it also learns users habit, 